Hey, it's Samuel back with Bluegrass Backcountry and Music. It's uh, Sunday, March 15th. Decided to brave the cold and the rain once again. Maybe one last snap of winter before spring comes to try to find uh, Cherokee Arch. I'm at the end of Chimney Top Rock Road off of Highway 715. And right behind me is uh, the Princess Arch Trailhead. I'm going to show you how to get to Cherokee Arch today. Come along with me. All right, this is the Princess Arch Trailhead. You're gonna to wanna to turn immediately right, and just off the trail to the right, about 100 feet, are these two posts right here. These are the two posts, just off the side of the road leading to the parking lot. You're gonna to wanna to take this trail unmarked up to the top of the hill to the campsite. I think it's about uh, 37 degrees this morning. It's 10 a.m. Didn't expect uh, things to be cold again because we had some warm weather come by recently. But once again, if you've watched my videos, you know that I love the cold uh, when nature is just sort of quiet down uh, from the temperature and bugs aren't out and everything. So just want to get one more run of cold temperature hiking before spring and summer come. So on our way. So you keep following that unmarked trail, you're going to come to a campsite that looks about like this. You're on top of a little knoll. You can see they're on to the right and to the left. There is some foot travel. You want to go left. So hopefully that you can see as you're making your way to this campsite, you're going to want to start making your way down to the left. So as you saw from that last caption, I made a wrong turn at the very first Y junction where I was supposed to go right rather than left. So for the remainder of the video, I will be instructing you to how to go the backwards way on the right hand ridge shown in red. And on the way back, I will be teaching you how to get there properly in green. After you make that left and start coming down, you come across another campsite. And again, foot travel continues to take you straight. Sometimes it can be hard to see the trail like this, but even if it's just a little opening, you can trust that uh, people's feet have been on it. <laughs> it's a good sign. <laughs> Someone's beanie got left behind. So. Guess this is one of the drawbacks of hiking right after it's rained for an extended time. The pants are getting soaked. So it just came from that unmarked portion. Got some rocks right here, a little scramble, and I can see more foot travel right there. So I almost missed this. I had just turned around just to look and, see, look and see what I had scrambled down, but this sure doesn't look like the rat windows that I found online, but man, this is still so cool. Look at these little rock columns, and then there's a little arch right there. What a find. If someone knows what this is, put it down in the comments, because it is amazing, amazing. Okay, I don't know what else to say other than that little rat window. I pushed right, just kept going through a lot of 
briars and thorns until I found this little crevice to be able to ascend down. But I don't think this is the proper way to get there, but I think it's paying off with some of these rock formations. Incredible. This side's even better. That thing. What an arch. Behold an arbor wonder. Look at this massive evergreen that's growing on the side of the rock facing. It's just going up and up and up there. Look at that. That's insane. What happened was I stayed on the right side of the two little ridges where Cherokee arches in the valley. I'll throw it up on the map and show you, but I guess if you want to take a loop wrong way, see some cool things, get lost, then you, you go the way that I came. But I will show you where I got turned around, all right? I am on the trail, by the way, too, finally. Okay, I just got done crossing that stream and then you've got a little creek here that's running just through a lot of this uh, organic material in the ground but throw up the GPS again here's the, the wall I'm pointing directly towards where Cherokee Arch is coming from the back side and you can even see right here there's a footpath so we are almost there Rock wall makes me a little scared. It's big. Those recesses are dark. Wow.
never seen rock like this before. This is like a Red River Gorge geology on steroids. All these look like plant fossils in the rock wall right here. It's like a work of art. Jeez. Oh, look at this right here. Almost looks like coral. Man. I'm in awe right now. Complete awe. Here we are, JFD Arch. Go check it out. Dali Duro, Instant Espresso. Shout out to Shug. Nature Valley Crunch, Pinta Butter. And the Cherokee Arch. What a backdrop to a Sunday afternoon for Shabbat. Not sure if this is watercress or some type of algae or moss, but wow, it's so lush and green.
Okay, from here on out, I'm pretty sure you're going to see the correct way to get back from Cherokee Arch. I got here backwards way. Now I'm following the path that I see back around. I'll show you the GPS. I'll show you that I'm on the left side of the ridge now. Should I take the path more traveled or should I live it up and scramble up to the top? Uh, let's take the second. I think I found one of the rat windows. I think this is rat window number one. There is some wind whipping up in here. It's pretty cool. That's chimney top rock right there. Got ourselves a bird. Peregrine falcon or a hawk. But, wow. Once you get to the top, there's that overlook. Here's the trail. The one I missed originally. Again, I don't know what happened, but better for me to make the mistake than you all. Stumbled upon rat windows number two. Teeny tiny, but still beautiful. Should be called rattlesnake uh, windows. Looks like rattlesnake skin. Make sure you get up in here. I thought this was man-made for a second. It was so geometrically neat, but I don't know what type of geology phenomenon that is, but it's cool. Different type of rock than everything else around. Let's keep going on the trail. Just keep passing rat windows number two right here. Rat windows is behind my back and the trail takes you up. Here's a little natural step, and we are up. Nice. And what is that rock? I want to know. Okay, I find, found the culprit of how I got turned around. I took a clip of these acorns on this moss and then I shot me next to this campfire and told you all to go left. And that's what the website screenshots told me, but you actually go right. That was the problem. You can still get to Cherokee Arch. There was footpath for like 70% of the way. so. I made the loop version, but the quick way, when you hit this very first fire pit, go right, and you're gonna be smooth sailing the rest of the way, I promise. All right, this is the way home. All right, just some closing thoughts as I get ready to come up on the parking lot again. That has to feel like one of the oldest arches in the entire gorge. I, I, I can't say that I've been to an arch with that many fossilized formations of different plants 
and other biological species. So, wow. Uh, I can see why Red River Underground, which I reference a lot of their stuff, uh, why they said it's their favorite arch in the entire gorge. I agree with them. Something very special about it. So, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Let's get back to the uh, truck. I'll give you some stats, all right? What the heck, I'm a fourth of a mile from Princess Arch. Let's go ahead and see it. Princess Arch. And let's make one more stop. Chimney Top Rock. All right, I just made it back to the truck. Uh, it's right at two o'clock, so it took me four hours to do the loop for Chim uh, Cherokee Arch, Rat Windows 1 and 2, uh, Princess Arch, and the Overlook past that trail, and also Chimney Top Rock Overlook. I think it was around four and a half miles, so really good day. Got to push myself physically a lot, so if you enjoy this, if you support it, uh, please consider subscribing. I'm starting the Shell Toey June 1st, so I appreciate it those who watch and um, encourage all that I do on these trips. God bless. Thank y'all.